What is up everybody, this is Drusifer on Xbox Live with some more Project Spark. Um, in the testing stages still, got a long way to go on this game. It's got a huge learning curve when you get into the code. Like painting a pretty landscape, making a character walk around, that ain't nothing. Code is very, is kind of a, that kind of learning curve you get used to. I've made some adjustments to the character. I've taken off her. Gave her a bow, so now she shoots arrows instead of throwing fireballs. Added a few uh, test enemies in there. They're just running off of a very basic brain right now. I haven't programmed any specific brain. I, to be honest with you, I'm having trouble getting a door to work. I did, I did get something to work. I want to build some logic brains for team. But uh, <clears throat> for now, I'm just using a basic teleporter, two way teleporter ball. Moving in and out of environments like going into houses, entering. And uh, now I just have this very basic teleporter platform. I'm still building. This, but this is going to be here for us. I was just standing in front of uh, or is mostly just here for an illusion. Probably actually turn it the other way on the map. That was weird. I've never had that happen before. But uh, yes, the That is the interior of that building is actually feasible over the It's the very, very early beginnings. I need to turn that door around so the door doesn't swing that way. Keep working on building up the interior there. I mean, they're gonna have to shrink it down now or increase the size of the house because they are obviously are not proportional to each other. I still need to fix up some of the landscape and diversify and add more things. So it's and uh, um, when I add more to the world, you know, building somewhere else. Area that you can travel to to leave floating plants. Um, so that I want to keep it as open world as possible. So I like that right now there's no set path you have to follow. You can pretty much explore anywhere you want. I want to keep doing that, but rather than trying to continue building landmass here, I think I'm going to use areas in the map to build other ones roughly the size, maybe smaller whatever I need it to be to cater to that part of the game, but that way it'll allow you to within the game. And uh, that there is, I don't even know, be something you can use, it might not be. I'd like to try and find a way to set boundaries around into the, the game. Or even if I were to build another portion of the game in a separate part of the water, I want you to actually be able to travel there the way I intended you to travel. So I, there's still a lot of a lot of learning for me in this. It's a tremendously fun game. I was getting super frustrated with the code, but check. 